Success doesn't happen overnight. It's the result of numerous small victories strung together over time. So, if you have a big dream or a clearly defined end goal, it's important to focus on the habits that will help you achieve it. In this video, we're going to discuss 19 essential habits for success. But before we dive into the habits, I want to ask you a question. What can you do right now to start moving closer to your goals? Keep that question in mind as we explore these habits together. The first T habit is simple yet powerful. Do what you say you're going to do. Talk less and take more action. Consistency is key and by following through on your promises, you'll build trust both with yourself and others. Next, we have the habit of journaling. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on your progress, whether it's in the form of a paragraph, a few sentences, or even just one sentence. This practice will help you stay grounded and maintain perspective on your journey. Habit number three is a fun, a mental principle, never lie. As the saying goes, oh what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Honesty is not only a moral obligation but also essential for building strong relationships based on trust. Now, let's talk about the importance of making time for your closest friends. Success is not limited to wealth and status, it's also about having fulfilling relationships. Cherish your friendships and don't sacrifice them on the path to success. Another crucial habit is to practice your craft consistently. Whether it's a hobby or a potential career, nurturing your skills and passions is essential for growth. Don't be the person who looks back and regrets not pursuing their interests. Physical health is equally important, so make it a habit to prioritize your fitness. Whether it's going to the gym, practicing yoga, or simply being active, taking care of your body will have a positive impact on your overall well-being. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals is also crucial. Al, choose to spend time with people who inspire you and align with your aspirations. Remember, the company you keep influences your mindset and trajectory. Now let's discuss the habit of reading. Expand your knowledge and perspective by diving into books that challenge and inspire you. Reading is a powerful tool for personal and professional growth. Setting goals is important, but tracking them is equally crucial. Create a project plan for your life and break down your goals into actionable steps. By holding yourself accountable and monitoring your progress, you'll be able to stay on track and adjust your course if necessary never eat alone. Engage in meaningful conversations during your meals. Use this time to connect, collaborate, and learn from others. Every interaction is an opportunity for growth. Remember the saying, dress for success, well, it holds true. When you feel good about your appearance, your confidence soars. Make it a habit to present yourself in a way that reflects your best self. In addition to journaling, meditation and reflection are vital practices. Take time to pause, be present, and integrate the lessons you've learned along your journey. Reflection is crucial for personal growth. Teaching others is not only a selfless act, but also a powerful learning tool. Share your knowledge and experiences, even if you don't consider yourself an expert. Explaining concepts to others deepens your understanding and helps solidify your own knowledge. Now, it's time to unleash your inner child. Make time to play and engage in activities that bring you joy. Life is meant to be enjoyed, so don't forget to make time for fun and creative expression. Your diet plays a significant role in your overall well-being. Cultivate the habit of eating healthy, nourishing foods that energize and support your body. Remember, what you eat is a habit that you'll repeat daily. So make it a habit that takes care of you. Seek wisdom from people of different ages. Engage in conversations with B, both older and younger individuals to gain diverse perspectives. These insights will broaden your understanding of the world and help shape your own journey. Immerse yourself in art and creativity. Inspiration rarely strikes while sitting at a desk. Visit museums, watch movies, listen to live music, and expose yourself to different forms of artistic expression. Let these experiences fuel your own creativity. Now let's discuss the importance of waking up when you say you will. When you set an alarm, you're making a promise to yourself. Honor that promise and start your day with intention and discipline. Finally, we come to reading your chief aim aloud. Take a page from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and write down your biggest goal. Every morning and evening, read it aloud. Feel the power of your words and visualize your goal becoming a reality. So my friend, here's the question I asked you at the beginning. What actions will you take from this video to make progress towards your goals? Reflect on these habits and choose one or two to implement in your life starting now. If you found this video valuable and want to show your support, consider giving a tip proportional to the value you received. The link can be found in the description. 
thank you for watching, and remember, success is not a destination, it's a journey built on small, consistent actions. Keep striving, keep growing, and keep pushing forward. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. We all want 2021 to be an awesome year, right? Well, I've got some good news for you. Today we're going to talk about simple actions that can make a big difference in your daily life. I know, I know. The topic of habits can sometimes be overwhelming, we see articles telling us to completely change our lives in a matter of seconds, as if it were no biggie. But let's be honest, we've only got 24 hours in a day, and we've got other tasks to do, that's why I want to I'll introduce you to the concept of microscopic habits. These habits don't take much time or energy, but they can add tremendous value to your life. So without further ado, let's dive in one. Write down three things you're grateful for. Heck. Start with just one if you need to, the goal here is to always be on the lookout for the positive side of each day. Yes, even on those days when everything seems to go wrong and you feel like punching the next person who looks at you, I've been doing this habit faux. Are the past two years and let me tell you, it's been a game changer. It's simple, yet it helps reframe those bad days, when I struggle to find something positive, I simply say, I am grateful to be alive and have a future full of possibilities. It might seem basic, but it truly works in the long run point too say no once a week. If you accept everything that comes your way, you'll never have time for yourself. So create some space by saying no to things that don't excite you. Start with just one no and see ho. W liberating it feels. You can also set boundaries with others so you always have some time for yourself. If someone wants to have a meeting that you consider pointless, say you're busy. If three friends want your help, tell one of them they might need to find someone else. Now heads up, if you're used to always saying yes, people might need some time to adapt to this change. But trust me, with time they'll accept it. Point three, exercise for just one minute when you wake up. Yep, that's right, just one mile. Mute. Even in your busy life, you can find time for that, can't you? I am not asking for a full-fledged workout, just a few simple exercises. Personally, I like to do 30 push-ups and hold a plank for at least 30 seconds. Exercising first thing in the morning gets your blood flowing and helps you break free from that morning fog you might be experiencing. If you prefer a full workout in the morning, go ahead. But even if you prefer to exercise in the evening, one minute in the morning can make a big D. Difference, trust me on this one point four, invest in experiences, not just objects. Think about how often you spend money on things versus experiences. My guess is that you invest more in objects. But here's the thing, what we remember isn't objects, it's the experiences we have. Sure, objects can help us remember some experiences, but it's the experiences themselves that leave a lasting impact. In 2020, I made an effort to spend more time with friends, going on walks or taking short trips together. We cree, Ted memories and deepened our bonds. And in 2021, I plan on doing even more of that. Point 5. Organize your home. Trust me, even if you don't have a lot of space, you can still reorganize your home in a way that works for you. Determine different spaces for different tasks. For example, have a designated reading area, a workspace, a meditation spot, a sleeping area, and so on. This way, when you engage in a particular activity, you can transfer yourself to the dedicated space for that task. It may seem simple, but it can significantly improve your focus and productivity. All right, my friend, we're halfway through our list of 21 microscopic habits that can change your life. If you're finding this information valuable, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future content. By doing so, you'll be on your way to achieving the goals and obtaining the benefits stated in this video. But before we continue, I want to remind you that if you find this video valuable and you want to support our channel, you can give a tip proportional to the value you received. The link can be found in the description below. Now let's get back to the habit 6. Throw things away. Seriously, if you've never consciously made an effort to declutter and get rid of things you don't need, I highly recommend trying it today. It's liberating, start small, and you might find yourself developing a taste for it. In fact, you might even end up playing the minimalism game like I did last November, where I threw away 465 items. Trust me, there's a lot of stuff that's been taking up unnecessary space in your life. Time to let it go.7 Manage your money. Now, I am not talking about investing, although that's important too. I am talking about knowing where your money is coming from, and where it's going. Many people ignore this aspect, but it doesn't have to be complicated. 
You can use a free app like Money Manager to keep track of your income and expenses. Once you've set it up, it only takes a few seconds to enter your expenses and their categories. Soon enough, you'll have a clear picture of where your money is going. Simple, yet effective. Point 8. Stand up every hour. Now I won't lie, this one is challenging. We've been so accustomed to sitting for hours on end that standing up regularly can be quite a task. But trust me, it's worth it. Set a reminder to stand up and stretch every hour. It may feel strange at first, but your body will thank you in the long run. Plus, it's a great way to break the cycle of sedentary behavior. Point 9. Follow this simple proverb when we have no head, we have legs. It may sound a bit weird, but I use it as a way to accept whatever happens in life. It's about letting go of anger and frustration when things don't go as planned. For example, if you forget something and have to go back home to get it, don't get angry. Remind yourself that you have legs, and doing what needs to be done is more important than dwelling on the past. Accept what's done and focus on moving forward. Point one zero. Ask open-ended questions. Now, not everyone is a natural-born conversationalist, and that's okay. But here's a simple trick that can help you become a better interlocutor. Ask open-ended questions. Become a child again, and ask why, where, when, who, what, and which. People love talking about themselves, and by asking open-ended questions, you'll keep the conversation going and make others feel heard and valued all right my friend, we're almost at the end of our list, B. But before we continue, I want to ask you a question. What actions from this video are you going to implement in your life? Take a moment to think about it, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you 11. Turn off notifications. Trust me, this one is easier than you think. Being constantly reachable has become a habit for most of us, but it's time to change that. Start by turning off notifications for just one hour a day. If you can last longer, go for it. You'll be amazed. Be it how much more focused and productive you can be without constant distractions. Personally, I've become addicted to this habit, and now my notifications are off for two-thirds of my day. Give it a try, and you'll see the difference it makes. Point one, two. Prepare your clothes the night before. It's a simple habit, but an efficient one. Why waste mental energy in the morning deciding what to wear when you could use that precious time for more important tasks? By preparing your clothes the night before, you save your energy for what truly matters. Point 13. Watch the news less. Let's face it, 2020 showed us just how overwhelming the news can be. So if you haven't already, start reducing your intake of news. You don't need to watch or read the news three times a day, let alone 10. Instead, try to limit it to once a day, preferably around midday. Trust me, you'll still stay informed without feeling overwhelmed. Plus, you'll have more time for yourself. Point one four, drink more water. Ah, here's a simple one that we often overlook. Drinking water is great for your health and it's readily available. So why aren't you already drinking more water? Come on, stop watching for a second and take a sip. Hydration is key, my friend 15. Discover one new thing every month. This one's my favorite. Drop all expectations and simply make it a point to discover something new each month. It could be diving into a topic you've been curious about, reading a new book, or exploring a new hobby. The choice is yours. The important thing is to keep that sense of curiosity alive and continuously learn and grow. Point 16. Make your bed. Admiral William McRaven said, best start with a win. By making your bed first thing in the morning, you set the tone for the rest of the day. It may not change your life right away, but it's a simple habit that gives you a sense of accomplishment and puts you in the right mindset to tackle other tasks and challenges. Point 17. Spend a minute a day with yourself. Just one minute, my friend. Disconnect from your phone, computer, and other distractions. Find a moment of solitude and spend it with yourself. It could be as simple as sitting on the toilet, we all do it, right? Use this time to become aware of your thoughts, reflect on your day, talk to yourself, or simply embrace the stillness. Trust me. Self-awareness is highly underrated in our fast-paced world. Point 18. Ask yourself whether what you're doing is worth it. In our daily lives, we often find ourselves doing things that don't really matter or add value to our lives. Take a moment to pause and ask yourself if what you're doing right now is truly worth your time and energy. Imagine you only had two months left to live. Would you spend your time binging shows on Netflix, or would you be pursuing your passions and working towards your goals? It's a powerful question that can help you prioritize what truly matters. Point 19. If a task takes two minutes, do it right away. We've often heard advice about doing tasks that take less than five minutes immediately. Dot, but let's take it a step further. I've set the bar at two minutes. If a task can be done within two minutes, don't postpone it. Just do it right away. However, if it takes longer than that, write it down on paper and hang it in front of you as a reminder. 
Then, make sure to complete it within the next hour and a half, this way, you give yourself some leeway without procrastinating for days.20. Take care of your posture, this one's essential my friend. A bad posture can have long-term repercussions, on your health. If you've been neglecting your posture like I did for years, it's time to make a change. Remind yourself to sit or stand up straight whenever you catch yourself slouching. Trust me, a little effort goes a long way in preventing future back problems.21. Read for 15 minutes a day. Last but definitely not least, make reading a daily habit. As Jim Quick always says, leaders are readers, whether you prefer fiction or non-fiction. Reading has numerous benefits, it expands your knowledge, enhances your creativity, and helps you grow as an individual. So, make it a point to spend at least 15 minutes a day diving into a good book. It's a simple habit that can have a profound impact on your life. And there you have it, my friend. 21 Microscopic Habits That Can Change Your Life Now, I know the impact of these habits may not be immediately visible, but trust me, if you stick with them, your life will improve in the long run. So why not start today? Take a small step by standing up and throwing something away. It's only the beginning, but it's a step towards a happier and more fulfilled life, remember. If you found this video valuable and you want to support our channel, you can give a tip proportional to the value you received. The link can be found in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Once again, I want to ask you, what actions from this video are you going to implement in your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I can't wait to hear about the positive changes you'll be making. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.